Hello everybody. Um, today is my day 280. It is uh, February 16th, 2017. And the, um, the voice training continues, I guess. But I noticed today, it feels like... I need an example. I think I have like so much crap. Um, I use the light bulb. Um, okay, so here's what I'm feeling today. If this light bulb represents my throat, okay, and I'm gonna put it sideways. Um, it sounds like I am talking in the back part of this light bulb, okay, down here. Um, see how this, this is a much different resonance than if I, sometimes if I talk up here, it's more in the top of the light bulb. I haven't, I've got to figure this out. I need an idea. Um, so what I'm wondering is, again, a, a, if I, I, I don't want to play this out. i got to explore this out, but it's definitely more, this is, um, coming in at a, more again of a of a, an A3, but I'm wondering if I speak in this, it's almost like I'm talking into a pot. Well, I'm a little girl. I'm a little girl who has a not so cute speech. Anyway, <clears throat> excuse me. So I'm gonna try and speak more in the lower part of that light bulb. And we'll see if my voice loses any quality to it. Or if I sound like I'm going too hot. Okay, so I think I will try to be a little lower. But this, not, not fake though. Anyway. Alright, so what's going on today? I hope everyone is doing wonderful. Um, it's been a busy day today. I've taken my lunch kind of late in the day. And... Uh, kept really busy oh my gosh but that lunch time went by real quick so that means this is going to be a very very short video see normally I'd say this is going to be a very 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 short video this is going to be a very 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 short video this is a different approach to this I'm gonna to have to see how this works and hopefully my voice won't hurt then I'll be like oh it's the way I need to do it um, but anyway, all that aside, we'll try stop meddling for a moment. Um, I had a little bit of a development this morning that I want to share. Um, as you all know, in some five weeks, I will be, um, having a gender conforming surgery or gender affirming surgery or gender reassignment surgery or sexual reassignment surgery, whatever you want. It is a penile inversion. Maybe I should just say that and let you wonder. Um, and I kind of had set it up so that my daughter would be able to stay home. And, you know, I didn't want to interrupt her schedule as far as school goes or um, those kinds of things. I didn't want to disrupt her life. And that kind of was my thought as to what I was going to try and do. But this morning, my daughter said to me, she said, um, I don't remember her exact words, but something along the effect of she wanted to know more about what was going to happen during uh, the time that I would be away from my surgery. Not the surgery itself, but what was going to happen. Um, and she asked me about it yesterday, and I answered as best I could, but today I got a little more of an insight on it. Um, turns out she is interested in going with me to be with me and I guess to be with her mom or grandma my mom um, you know while I'm having my surgery much like you would go to a loved one's um, to wait in the recovery room and make sure everything is okay and everything else and so um, you know it's one of those things um, it really kind of touched my heart because I'm like, here's my daughter who cares about me 
And maybe that wasn't it at all. Maybe she just wants to, you know, get away from school for a week. I don't know. <clears throat> but it really did touch my heart. It made me feel really good. And, you know, again, most of us, and I'll, I'll, I don't know that for everybody out there, but I know for me, um, this is something I've been wanting to do since I was in middle school, you know. And it's my daughter goes into middle school next year, and so I'm, I'm trying to imagine, you know, being her age and knowing that you're of the wrong gender. I mean, I have to imagine I lived it. But for her to understand, I think, oh, now my voice is going off. I think, no, I'm not going to do it. Ah, practicing. <clears throat> Excuse me. Need to wet my whistle. <clears throat> I hope that my voice will reacclimate. <laughs> um, back when I smoked pipe, a tobacco pipe, I might add. Um, you know, at the start of every season, I always started smoking my pipe uh, pipes. Um, usually in the fall, and then about this time of year, I would give it up. Oh, see, now that my voice is really flat. <clears throat> and that's more phlegm. Wonderful! <laughs> but, you know, you would get that tobacco pipe bite, and you would burn your throat also, and I can remember that. And I'm hoping that, you know, eventually the more I smoked my pipe throughout the season, it didn't bother me. And I'm hoping this is the same way. So, I hope I'm getting a low battery warning and I gotta go soon, so I'll just end it. Um, so yeah, I was really touched that my daughter cares about me. I mean, not surprised, but also that um, she wants to support me, I think. She wants to show, I mean, this is how I interpret it. She wants to show her support. She's definitely concerned about me. And I'm, I'm flattered. I mean, I'm not flattered, but it, it touches your heart, you know. And, um, I, again, to all the shame, fear, and guilt that was put upon me by other people, uh, normally this is where I would flip my middle finger up, but that's not really ladylike. And as I am definitely sitting in the nutcracker position, I will continue to be ladylike um, and just say that um, that's not reality at least not mine. Um, I have a very young, mature young lady for a daughter who is has a very big compassionate heart. And, yeah, truth be told, hell, she may just want to get out of school and go chill out with Grandma in Indianapolis for a week, right? I mean, who the hell knows, right? But it's still pretty touching. And on that note, I can't think of anything else that I need to say. I do want to listen to the video back because, like I said, I've tried to stay more in the back of my throat than in the top of my, so I can almost call it that. you probably going, how in the hell is she doing that? And I don't know. I don't know. Um... So on that note, I think I will sign off. I hope everyone's doing wonderful. Good luck in your transition. Good luck in your journey. Okay? And uh, until next time, again, I have to say I, I wish that good luck in becoming the best version of yourself that you want to be. And we will see you next time. Okay? And good luck. And bye-bye.